What's up guys, 3D Mo here. Sorry I haven't done a video in a minute, but I've been a little busy between work and the E3D V6 headache that I had. So I want to go over a few things and let you know my current situation. So let's get to it. So I decided I wanted to go with the E3D V6 because I have one on my Prusa, which is actually printing now, which is amazing. Prints awesome. So I went out and I figured I'd get a genuine one. I'll show you now. So I decided to pick up the, as you can see, this is the genuine E3D V6. So I decided to pick this one up. So I installed it with the OEM fang mount, which is here, which worked out fine. Printed some awesome stuff in the beginning. Uh, printed a Stark Winter is Coming Cup. Came out pretty flawless. Printed this beautiful vase, no layer lines, pretty great. You guys can see it. Got the retraction down. No strings at all. Everything was working fine. So, I decided I want to try some TPU because that's what really I want to print. I like printing TPU for my parts. I want to make some real big vases and stuff in TPU because they don't break. So I decided to run some TPU. I was getting some jams. Said okay, maybe this is not too great. I tried oiling it. I tried, I tried everything on the book, dude. It's been like a week of me trying to master this. So, mind you, this came out amazing, but this is after like no joke about 13 tries. So, I don't know if I got a dud. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I tried. I read every forum. I've asked every friend I know in the whole 3D world. I've done everything everyone told me. Even tried the firm, you know, made sure I had everything correct in the firmware with the sensor. Double checked it with my friend Timothy, where I got the ABL sensor from. So, you know, the last thing I tried was oiling it. He told me to oil it. I tried oiling it. I got a little bit further, just kept on jamming. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna contact E3D or not, but on, you know, if you look online, everyone's complaining about it jamming. At least with the Bowden setup. What's happening is I'm jamming. I went and I got a new extruder. I got an aluminum one, you know, with the TPU tubing going straight to it. Still was coming out of the extruder no matter what. It was jamming. So I said, you know what, maybe I'll just stick with PLA, try to get these settings correct. I got it to a point where every third print would print. I tried higher temperatures. I tried, you know, retraction settings because you, you shouldn't really go above you know four or five because it'll get stuck in the cold end I, I, I've tried everything every possible setting you can you can find on the internet this is pretty much why I didn't have a new video because I wanted to give you guys a video of my new upgrade with the V6 I changed the fan I got an RPM fan where you can control the actual voltage of it you know not like my dual fan mod that I had which I'm not gonna say was it was a great mod, I just couldn't control the fans. My fault, I didn't buy two RPM fans. I bought the fans that I've actually seen from another YouTuber that actually installed the, the network. I used his Amazon links, figured I'd give him some, you know, props for that. Make him make something out of the deal. So, my end result is, basically, I'm canning the e 3 v 6 It's great when it prints, but it's just, I can't get it right. It's been literally two weeks and I, I can't get it right I tried I just I want to print it to set it and forget it I can turn my Prusa on remotely with opto print by the way I upgraded that it has opto print now just like my CR10 S5 you know I press print it goes and it works I never had any problems with the original extruder I just you know why not put an E3 V6 maybe I can go a little faster change you know maybe to a volcano I, I just had some bad luck so I'm canning it just too much trouble I'm gonna go with the real the reliable setup that I have maybe change the heat block to the E3 V6 heat block so maybe but I'm not, I'm not gonna do that so my current situation is a mess right now so I'll show you guys my current situation and then I'll shoot a quick video tonight after I put everything back together so here is my current situation doesn't look too great guys but 
finally took off the E3D. This is what's left of it. It's a disaster. It was a mess. I, this is what it looks like. It, at one point, I took the fan off to tighten it. You know, when I was fed up and I actually it heated up and melted my whole entire... Uh, if you could look, it's like melted. It melted the ABS because I, I took the fan off. You know, you put the fan off on the side. I tightened it. I tried everything. It was just, it was just, I was at the point where it was 3 o'clock in the morning. It's been a week and uh, I'm losing my mind. So this is my car situation. I just soldered, as you can see my soldering stuff. I just soldered everything back to the original head. I had to change this. Mine went, mine was loose. So I soldered back my thermistor. I put back my heat sink, my heat block. And uh, I'm just waiting. I just printed out the new OEM. I'm going to go with the OEM because I have, um, I'm going to go with the, this OEM, by the way. So, I don't know. I got a little burn on the ABS because I don't have an enclosure. I printed really hot. I think I went a little overboard because I wanted to do it faster, but this will be fine. It's going to mount like this. Everything will be all right. So I went with the Prusa fan only because I had one laying around. I didn't go ahead and order it from Prusa. I, I always order spares when I buy my um, printers. Like I just ordered a, another hot end from uh, Tiny Machines. Check them out. They just came in again. I just like to have spares. So, you know, God forbid anything. So this is my current situation. I'm going to put it all back together tonight. And I'm going to put show a video of my upgrades. Because with my new upgrades, which is the new extruder by McQueen, I believe it is. I'll, I'll definitely give you guys the more information when I do the video today. I'm going to go with the OEM fan mount and I believe this is the fan duct which is printing right now. Once it's done I can get started. This is, I forgot the guy's name but I'll give you all the information when I show you guys the upgrade. So it's just about done. Once it's finished I'll uh, update you guys. So sorry I made you guys wait so long. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The more subscribers I get the more motivation I get to do more videos because it's really hard for me I work I come home late editing the videos is rough so this is my current situation it's a mess you guys can see but I wanna I'm trying to make my CR10 S5 as reliable as my little flash forge over there that's a beast set it and forget it and my Prusa which I haven't had a failure yet so think prints amazing uh, so that's about it Oh, here's another thing I printed. I'm a big uh, Game of Thrones fan, so I printed out a whole door. So when it did print, it printed amazing. But to be honest with you, I was getting prints like this with the original head. I just, you know, was upgrade happy. And I'm a little disappointed because a lot of people are having the same problem I'm having. It's not just... It's not just me, it's, I, I don't know if it's a faulty part, I don't know if I want to call them up and deal with it again. Honestly, it was such a bad situation, I don't even want to bother with it anymore. My CR10 prints fine with this hot end, why even bother? I just tried, I said, figure if I can make it even better, print a little faster, hey, why not? All metal hot end, you know the deal. But anyway, so I'm going to let you guys go with that, and uh, throw this video up real fast, edit it, and... Uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, check out my other videos, and I'll have another one for you by the morning. With all my upgrades and with a couple of prints that I do, a couple of test prints. So have a good one, guys, and sorry for not putting so many videos out. Just bear with me. Thank you.